on Veritech managing. Hundred yeah. percent. Let's oh. uh let's move on to this last topic of the day. Write my time down here. Da, da, da. Last topic, Ohio State football is asking players to sign a waiver before returning to practice. Now, more than likely, this is going to become commonplace, I do believe, in college sports. Uh, Ohio State football began voluntary workouts earlier this week, but before any Buckeyes started those team-sanctioned activities, they had to sign an acknowledgement of risk waiver due to COVID-19. The Columbus Dispatch obtained the waiver and reported Sunday that players were asked to sign a, quote, Buckeye Pledge. The pledge commits players to following the school's health guidelines, including participation in contact tracing efforts and reporting of exposure, and acknowledges the risk of contracting COVID-19 even while following these protocols. At Ohio State, those protocols include submitting to coronavirus testing, reporting exposure to COVID-19, discussing symptoms of the virus, including a fever of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher, and remaining home if they feel sick. The articles that I saw earlier today made it seem like this was a bad thing for the schools to do. I don't think I agree with that. Whoa, 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 whoa. We need to know, but see, you're not you're not thinking big picture. Okay. These are college kids, okay, right? Who are probably under their parents' health care. Or if they're low income, parents no, if, are unemployed. If they're, if they're like playing for the school, uh, all of those members of the football team have health care through the school. Okay, you're right. You're right. My question is this. By signing the waiver, did that absolve the school from any medical complications of COVID? All of the things you read are great. They are wonderful. I got no beef with anything you said. Why do you have them sign a waiver? It, they, listen, they didn't sign a pledge. They signed a waiver. A pledge is I pledge that I will do all these things. I will follow through with all these things. I will do all this stuff. Whatever. That's a pledge. What is a waiver? A waiver is a legal document. Why do I have you sign a legal document? Because I want to make sure that if you come in here and your left tackle has COVID and he's blocking the nose tackle all day long, breathing, sweating on him, whatever, and then the nose tackle gets COVID, gets sick, gets hospitalized, Ohio State can't be liable. I think, I wonder if this has more to do with, like, death as opposed to anything else. Because you you hear, it feels like every football season, players that have an undisclosed medical I'm, condition that they didn't even know about. Well, that's and, it. But if you don't know about it, it's not undisclosed. You just, you know. Or how about this, uh, uh, an unknown medical condition? Unknown pre-existing condition, yeah. Yeah. Um, but here's, here's the problem. You can't ask these kids to sign away something like that. I'm not okay with that. I'm not. Everything that you read off sounds reasonable. There are things on there that you didn't read off because it's a legal document. Um, That's why everyone's saying it's bad. I yeah. assure you that this absolves the University of Ohio State, Ohio State University. It absolves them of legal liability if one of their players gets sick with COVID, even if they're following all these guidelines. Uh, maybe yeah, you're probably right, and I would That's imagine you'll okay. see it more. That's often. just not okay. They're unpaid workers. Yeah, it's not enough that you 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 won't take care of them medically. Yeah, uh, Michael said so. The school is not well. He said first, uh, cover your ass paperwork. Yeah. Um, well, and here's the deal. Hold up. So it's not really the medical care. You're right because Trump has has considered all COVID paid for by the government. So there is no there is no health care. So this is for death then. Yeah. This is absolutely for death. Uh, Michael said, so the school is not responsible for those medical bills or lawsuits. In worst case, some kid dies. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's but, what but this I is. But I'm, okay I'm not okay with that. I this is the I, risk that all the schools are taking because of financial necessity. I understand the risk. I'm okay with the risk. However, My asking them to come in and save your university. Making the unpaid help work with, with, take, with them taking all of the risk and get no benefit or security behind the risk. You're right. I was looking at this from a completely different point of view. I get exactly what you're saying now. I, I All totally of the things get you said are 100% reasonable, and you got to put those things in because it makes them – because you can't just say you can't sue us if you die. Yeah. Because then nobody would sign it. Well, I mean, and truth be told, like, 
you can still get it even if you follow all these protocols, right? Yeah. And that's yeah. what they're they're stating. But it's also okay. Well, if it's known that okay, well, so and so was still going out every night, and he was still doing this, 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 and there were still a bunch of people coming over to his apartment and whatever else. Like then the school is not. Well, yes, now the school that. is not liable for that. That's a that's a different situation. But if you're following all these rules and you sign this waiver and you can't do anything for the uh, with the school to be compensated or 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 your family be compensated if something happens to you, God yeah. forbid, then I'm not okay with that. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think I'm aside with you. Michael said the schools are taking the risk and gain far more from this risk. Um, yeah, 100. percent I mean, the, the kids are playing because, one, they I'm want to get okay out there and play. The, this, is, this is where I, I'm i okay with me, a fan, buying a ticket and on the back of my ticket saying that this is a waiver that yeah. you are committing, saying you cannot sue us if you get COVID here or you get sick and you die. Yes, I'm okay with that. That's the choice that I am making to come to a game and cheer for my team. These players have very little in choice. Their choice is sit out the whole season or play, and that's it. They have no compensation outside of the black market money that goes undetected, so we don't know what the real compensation is. Not okay with that. And and if they're not playing, they don't get the compensation. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. If they're not playing, they're definitely not getting that. And we we give them a scholarship. I'm just, yeah. I'm just not okay with these things. Damien said, so wait, they can make the student-athletes sign waivers, but they can't let them get paid. What the hell, NCAA? Yeah. Yeah, it's what we've been screaming on the show for. Technically, years. a waiver is a contract, and so yet, we're going to allow them to sign contracts, but but not contracts for money. Contract. Uh, it's ridiculous. <laughs> the whole thing's ridiculous. Um, all right, is there anything breaking that that we need to hit? I hadn't seen anything. I, I haven't I haven't looked, but I think we're okay. I think yeah, I think we're fine. All right. With that said, we are going to go ahead and get out of here. This was a hell of a Monday show. Everybody that jumped in the chat. We appreciate all of you. Michael said the NCAA looks out for number one. They could give a shit who wears that helmet. Agreed. Um, Brown William Brown said capitalist restricting financial gain. Go figure. And then the Brown Yeti said, isn't everything voluntary right now? Yeah, 100%. Everything's voluntary. Um, and then Michael said, what kid is going to refuse to sign it, though? There you go. That's the, is- that's that's the, the issue. issue is you're, you're strong arming kids to doing stuff. that That's probably not smart for them. There you go. Michael said, I mean, I signed fellas. a bunch of shit when I was younger that I had no business doing. You got that right. You got that right. I mean, as soon as you turn 18, you start doing credit cards and everything else. I mean, it's, oh, don't get me started on that. We'll be here another hour. All right. Wild Bill said, peace out. Uh, of course, hook them as well. Michael said, thanks, fellas. Gig them. Well, boy, we got A&M and Texas on this one. What is going on? Happy Monday to everybody. Hopefully, you have had a good day in whatever part of the world that you are in. Hopefully, the weather has been treating you right and that work is not going too hard. We appreciate all of you for jumping in here and uh, and sharing out the show, all that kind of stuff. Tell everybody you know about it. Uh, click that retweet button. Click that share button. Whatever you need to do to get the word out, tell your buddy about it. That's the best way to do it. Just tell them to go subscribe to the podcast. That helps. You guys have been awesome. William Brown said, Boomer. Well, we got some Big 12 stuff going on today. Good gracious. Uh, go subscribe to the podcast, share the show out, go to tunicatravel.com, winningcureseverything.com. The new site is up. The new layout is up. Go check it out. Tell us what you think. We appreciate all of you guys. For Chris, I'm Gary. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment.